In a recent address to Commonwealth leaders in Samoa, King Charles III broached the somber topic of Britain's colonial past and the legacy of slavery. He stated, None of us can change the past, signaling an acknowledgement of the sensitivities surrounding discussions of reparations and formal apologies connected to the transatlantic slave trade. Despite the weightiness of the subject, the king operates under the limitations set by government policy, which clearly indicates that no apologies or reparations will be entertained during the summit. The way King Charles articulates his thoughts reveals the nuanced path he must tread. His expressions of sorrow resonate with the historical context of political leaders, such as former Prime Minister Tony Blair, who similarly spun a narrative of deep sorrow and regret without crossing the line into outright admissions of liability. This carefully chosen language highlights the monarchy's balancing act, where emotions must align with governmental rhetoric while acknowledging historical injustices in a way that doesn't disrupt current policies. The monarchy's intricate ties to the history of slavery reveal a legacy marred with contradiction. The Royal African Company, initiated in the 17th century under the royal banner, played a significant role in the slave trade, yet historical narratives illustrate a fractured royal family during the abolitionist movement, with some members passionately advocating against slavery, while others staunchly defended it. This duality underscores the complexities within the monarchy's historical relationship with slavery, creating a tapestry of conflicting moral standpoints. Compared to King Charles's cautious demeanor, monarchs from other nations, such as the Dutch king, have openly issued formal apologies for their country's roles in slavery. This disparity highlights the persistent challenges that the British monarchy faces, especially during visits to former colonies, reminiscent of prince visits during which controversies surrounding reparations have surfaced, such as the recent trip of Prince William and Catherine to the Caribbean. During his Samoa address, King Charles underscored the necessity of learning from the past to tackle ongoing inequalities, deftly sidestepping direct references to slavery. This careful avoidance reveals the delicate balance the monarchy strives to maintain, coping with the calls for accountability while simultaneously addressing the need for healing historical wounds. As discussions continue, the shadows of past injustices loom large and the monarchy must navigate these waters with both empathy and pragmatism.